Hello guys, welcome to another video on Microsoft Azure. In today's video, we are going to discuss about private endpoints. We will create the private endpoints. We will link it with virtual networks and we will associate it with a pass service or a service in Azure. Okay, so private endpoint basically is a service in Azure which provides us flexibility to connect to a service or resource and access that or let that resource communicate with, you, with your resources in virtual network privately using this private endpoint. Okay, if you see the definition here, use private endpoint to privately connect to a service or resource. Okay, so if you have PAPS, PAPS service, you can use private endpoints to connect with that resource privately. Okay. Your private endpoint must be in the same region as your virtual network. Okay, so if you are if your virtual network is in East US, East US, your private endpoint also should be in the East US region. Okay, and suppose if you have some resource in West US, then you can also link that East US private endpoint with the West US resource. Okay, this is what this part of sentence is saying. Okay, so first we will try to create a private endpoint. Okay, for a, to create a private endpoint, you can just simply type private endpoints here. And from here, you can click on create and you can specify all the details. Okay. But there is also an another option to do this. So suppose for a function app, you want to create a private endpoint or any other pass service, a storage account or anything. Okay, so, so this is my function app on which I will create a private endpoint. At the moment, we don't have any private endpoints in it. If you go to settings, networking, you can see we have zero private endpoints. Okay, so you can also do it from here. Simply click on zero private endpoints and click on add here. If you click on add, you will get an option of express and advanced, select advanced. If you select an express, you get an basic, you get a basic private endpoint options to create it, but mostly you will have to select advanced. So this will redirect you to the same page what we were seeing here while going to the private endpoints. Okay, now let's go again to the function app and we will set up a private endpoint. Simply uh, go to networking of any your pass service. So suppose this is my pass service. Go to networking, private endpoints and click on add. OK, so if we add the private endpoint, this function app test hyphen ABC hyphen 01 can communicate with my resources in my virtual network. So suppose if you have a virtual machine and this is a function app, you want communication between these two, your virtual machine and function app, you'll have to create the private endpoints. OK. And uh, of course, you will have to create the NSG rules, require NSG rules. Okay. Now let me click on add advanced. Here you will have to provide the basic details. You'll have to provide the resource group like ADU-01. You will have to provide the name. Suppose this is my name, private-01. You'll have to provide the network interface. Generally, whenever you create a private endpoint, a network interface also will be created. Using that network interface, traffic will go in and out to your resource. The region, select the region, same as your virtual network. Now click on resource. Here you'll have to select the resource as well. If you are creating private endpoint by going directly to the private endpoint service, you will have to select resource type and resource as well. 
but since we are going uh, creating by directly uh, going into for the function app we have the resource type and resource as selected already here in the target resource you will have to select sites because uh, this function app is a site a sub resource go to next in the virtual network you will have to select your virtual network since we don't have any it's not getting an option to create it let me create a virtual network then i'll create quickly the virtual network To create it simply click on create virtual network you will have to uh, specify the subnets and all virtual network name keep it like this for the next security let it be default IP addresses let it be the default now let me create it So once it is created, you will get an option to select the virtual network and subnet here. You will have to select the virtual network and the subnet where you want to create, uh, keep this private endpoint. The same subnet and in network security group have should have NSGs to communicate with your other resource. Suppose your virtual machine is in different subnet and you have this private endpoint in different subnet then both these subnets should have connectivities or if you have uh, disallowed all the routes denied all the traffic inbound and out outbound i will have to enable the nsg so my virtual network is created now let me come here and go back and see if virtual network it's coming now it's not yet coming now go back here let me create the private endpoint again you can also refresh the page okay now go to resource sites select the virtual network this is the virtual network and since I have only one subnet this is already selected okay you can select the private IP configuration uh, if you want dynamically allocate to allocate private uh, IP address you can select this or if you want to allocate the private IP address statically you can select this one and you can specify the private IP as well in the same subnet range but let it be dynamically okay if you want to create the application security group and you can select this as well otherwise you can just ignore it now we'll have to create the DNS as well okay generally if you are creating the private endpoints you will have to create the private dns zone as well for the resource type suppose uh, this is a web app then you will have to create a private dns zone name with something like private link dot azure websites dot net if this is for a storage account then you will have to create with uh, create for blog file queues and table okay so you will have to create this private dns zone and you will have to create an entry so the entry will be created by default once you create the private endpoint but you will have to link a private dna zone either that can be new or that can be existing okay so now let it uh, we have we don't have any private dna zone so this zone will be created in this resource group in this subscription let me select the tags and review and create this will validate the resource and it will give me an option to create it let me create it so once 
I have created this one of private endpoints will be created here in the function app and you can see that once this is complete once you have created this private endpoint you cannot access this function app from public network you will have you can only access it from virtual network so you will have to if you have a requirement to enable private endpoints in your function app or your organization wants you to enable this you can follow this tutorial to enable private endpoints for your resource and privately connect with your virtual network we'll have to raise the NSG request like if you want to try to create with storage account we'll have to raise 443 and 445 ports both inbound and outbound traffic like same you can arrange other requests as well let me refresh the page the status is created we are waiting for deployment completion so internally it will create a private endpoint it will also create a private dns zone it will also create a it will also create a uh, virtual network link inside that private dns zone okay and it will also create a dns record in that zone dns zone i will show you that first this is the private endpoint which is already created let me open this in new tab this private dns zone is still running so this is my private endpoint if you see here in the overview tab you can see the virtual network network interface and private link resource the resource which this private endpoint is connected with so this is my function app you can see here you can see the target sub resource and connection state this connection status should be approved if this is fail or something else then your private endpoint is not configured correctly and it will not work when the project provisioning state also should be succeeded if you go to setting if you have come to configure any application security group you can see it here and you can see the dns configurations here uh, here we have a network interface which is this one and a dynamically allocated ip address to it and you can see the fqdn as well this is the fqdn for the function app and scm site for the function app and here we have the private dns zone uh, zone here and here we have the dns entries okay so let the deployment gets complete then we will open the private dns zone as well so dns zone is created and at the moment virtual network link is being created you can see the properties from here if you want monitoring you can see all the things here you can see the dns configuration uh, here the dns record should be added in the private dns zone for this private endpoint to work correctly if this DNS zone, uh, the DNS record is not added, then uh, this uh, function app FQDN site will not work. It will throw you an error. Okay, now this has been completed. You can also click here to go to the resource. This is my resource. If I go to DNS configuration, this is the network interface and FQDN and here is the private dns zone linked with this private endpoint and the fqdn fqdn and the ip addresses which which are created in this dns zone let me open this dns zone as well so this is my dns zone you can see the number of record set virtual network links and other details let me now go to the main thing which is record sets 
so here you will have to add all the records which you want to use so this is my record set test hyphen abc hyphen 01 for the function f which i have created this private endpoint for and the second one is the dot scm website for the same function f okay with dot scm url you can access kudu of the function app and debug your files and you can view your files if okay like same if you want to create another function app you can create the private endpoints and you can link the same private dns zone using that so that even for the new function app your dns record will be added in this same private dns zone okay so for different function app no need to create different private dns zone you can use the same one okay here in virtual network links you will you should have this private dns zone connected with your virtual network then only this will work otherwise this will not work if you have to resolve this uh, dns records from a virtual network you should be adding the virtual network links here if suppose something is not working always come and check virtual network links if this is added added or not if not you will have to add it then it will work okay so these are a few of the important things when you are setting up the private endpoint for any pass service or for any resource in azure okay that's it from this video we'll meet with some another topic in different video if you have any suggestions or comments you can always comment okay if you like this video video please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching